Vetan, uh, can you introduce yourself? So, hello guys. This is Vetan, a classmate of Sayyadeh Kiran, as well as the GBP IEEE Extreme Ambassador. So, as I introduced about myself, I am the selector of 2025 batch Davim Box intern. So, based, coming into the, my details, basically, I am interested in coding as well as exploring the new technologies that are currently evolving in the market. So, I also started coding parallelly with Dubai in our second semester onwards. And yeah, we got excellent in it up to the standard. Yeah, uh, and if I want to tell about Vetan, you know, he's such a hardworking person. And I imagine, you know, there is a, only a single select from the whole Vishaka Pandama and, you know, uh, in the college, uh, just try to imagine his fan base. You know, there are a lot of girls and there are a lot of proposals for him. So, Vetan, uh, are there any suggestions on relationships for someone who is uh, seeing from our juniors batch? So, I think that a person who can start a relation should possess some eligibility. So eligibility, according to me, is if he take any person out, he should be capable for paying the expenses, whole expenses, not only his expenses, but also other person's expenses. If any individual grabs that eligibility, then I think he's perfect for a relation. Other, and we should strive to get that eligibility at any cost. And that's my suggestion. Okay, okay, got it. And yeah, let us uh, get into the interview process, uh, So what okay. is the eligibility to participate in this uh, Darwin Box interview drive? So the Darwin Box interview dive is held in our college level. So it's kind of an on-campus. So primarily my college selected me in terms of CGPA. So company asked for the college for top 120 people on the base of CGPA. So college also shortlisted 120 people. And my name is on the 120th place. Last one is my name. So that's the first thing. And off, after that select is college also offered some other privileges like those guys who are good at coding. I mean, whose profiles are good in the popular coding platforms like LeetCode and Coacher, they can show their profiles and they can enroll themselves as a suitable candidate for the interview process. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes, correct. And uh, the cutoff went around 8.8 uh, .8 GPA, right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So what are the next rounds, uh, Vedan? So the next rounds are the, uh, after the shortlisting, and coding round is happened in the college. I mean, we all done our coding in the computer labs only. So in that coding round, there are basically three questions and 10 MCQs. So I think in previous video, Varshit also discussed what are the coding questions, bring that into depth. But I can say into a in a shallow mode that yeah. one question is on basic DFS, second question is on DP, third question is on basic recursion. And yeah, I saw the three questions in the first round. Yeah, uh, and if anyone wants those uh, three questions, you can watch that previous video. And yeah, uh, so you have solved all three problems in the first round, right? Uh, online yes, assessment. Sir. Yeah, and yeah. what is the next round? So coming to the second round, so from this first round of nearly 140 people, I think um, 15 to 20 people shortlisted for the second round and all the people from GVP go gone to Githam College to write our exam. So in the second round, time constant is one hour and we are given two hard questions and 10 MCQ questions. MCQ questions are also somewhat bit harder than the first round. So the hard questions are from, again, DP, one question is from DP hard, second question is from graph. The graph question is not available, I think, in the, any public domains. I think they framed the question by their own, but the, yeah, the question is interesting. So the, this is the second coding round, right? Yeah, this is the second coding round. Okay. So uh, after this, uh, what is the next round? So after this coding round, I think in this round, mixing all the colleges like Geetham, Anit, CAU and our GVP, I think nearly 30 to 60 members return the con this round in two labs. And out of these two, I think total 12 members are selected for the interview process. So in the interview process, the panel, I mean, there are two panels, one HR and the, one HR common for the two panels. And each panel consists of a single TR. And the guys are sent for the interview. Okay. So uh, the interview is the final round. Yeah, the interview is the final round for us. Okay. Okay. Uh, so can you uh, discuss about your interview round? Okay. So in my first TR round, firstly I am somewhat very tense because it's my first interview, in-person interview. So firstly the interviewer just welcomed me by asking my formal in intro. I just explained about myself, all that is about me, and he is also enthusiastic to listen what I'm saying. And after that, he, he asked for my resume and I gave him and he just scanned my resume and he identified some of the skills that he required for the company. And he pinpointedly asked that in the later session. But after the resume, he gave me a puzzle. Okay. Okay. Now, before giving the puzzle, he just asked me, what's your lead number of questions I have done on lead code? So yeah. I turned, sir, it's nearly, I think at that moment, it was 710, 710. But due to communication gap, he just... Uh, received that as 7 to 10 and that guy is somewhat shocked and a small uh, satirical session happened there and we both laughed for some time and after that a puzzle is given to me okay, and uh, the puzzle is like yeah i think Oda, you will display the puzzle in the video yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay so the puzzle is like 
4 into ABCD equal to DCBA, where ABCD is a four digit number and ABCD four digits are distinct and non zero. And we need to find the four digit number. Okay. And for this question, 25 minutes constraint is given to me. Okay. So, firstly, I tried to approach this question as in expanded forms in the generic approach only, but I did not get the correct answer. And the recruiter understood my difficulty and he gave me a hint by giving me the first digit of the number. And by trying some examples, I, I told him the largest of the number. Okay. So first and largest were found, but the immediate two digits were unknown to, to me. Okay. So after some time, interviewer told to me that, bro, your approach was right, but unfortunately, we did not get the answer. And he immediately is equal to the next SQL question. Okay. Okay. Well, what is so, the SQL question? So in this SQL round, I was given two questions, two SQL questions. Now, for this SQL questions, there are three tables, users table, customers table, subscription table. So users table consists of all the users who are currently working. I mean, who are currently in the in a specified platform, say Amazon, Netflix, or anything. Okay. Now, in the customers table, they are the the count is present. I mean, the number of users who are present in the web page in that specified moment, in the specified day or time, that it is a present. In the subscription table, the subscriptions of users are present. Okay. So these three tables are given, and the first question was like, I need to find the users who have subscription and have logged into the web page at a specific date. Okay. So I solved it using the inner join concept. Mm -hmm. I explained him the whole SQL query by writing the code and also drawing the Venn diagram relevant to it. And he got satisfied and asked him the second question. The second question was like, I need to find the users who are non-subscription. I mean, who did not take the subscription and who are visiting the web page on a specified date. This is completely opposite to the first question. Okay. So the brute force approach that I thought of is, I will do total outer join, then I will do minus total inner join. So I will get the users who are non subscription guys. So I delivered him this one, but he said, okay, solution is right, but don't use minus operator. Tell me in any some other way. Okay. So at that moment, I thought sometime a small ambiguity raised in me, but after a few minutes, I got the solution with using left join. So I delivered him using left join and he was satisfied with the SQL. Okay. Okay. And uh, now, yeah, what is the next one? So after this, he gone into the core concepts. Okay. I mean, core means not in terms of OS and DBMS, but in terms of my projects. So he asked me to explain about my project that I have recently worked on and the difficulties that I had faced in the project. I, I explained my project on machine learning domain, the difficulties I had faced. And this part is followed by some questions like, what is the difference between shape and reshape in Python? First one. And second one, what is the use of group by in SQL? Okay. Third one, pub in public static void main. In Java, we have public static void main, right? Yeah. In that, what is the use of static keyword? Okay. And the question is followed by, can, can can we write Java syntax without using the static keyword? I mean, in main, can we write the main function without using the static keyword? Okay. And there is a small kind of argument raised between he and myself. Okay. I mean, I said that, sir, in the newer versions, it is possible. In Java 21, only void mean is enough to write. Okay. And he did not accept that fact. Okay, a small situation rise and again he googled it and our doubt got clarified, but that is for a few minutes only. Okay. And yeah, after that, the interview is closed. Okay. Uh, so what all topics uh, did they cover in this interview? So the co they cover basically for other guys who I know, they cover DSA also. Not that they will not cover DSA, DSA, basic math like this puzzles. Okay. Third one, SQL. Fourth, fourth one is all the things that you have mentioned regarding the project. They will go into the core. What you have mentioned in your project, they have, they have gone into my core machine learning concepts as well. And for my friends who had mentioned Node.js and React.js, they have gone into the core concepts of that one as well. So project, you should take care of your project as well in this criteria. Okay, okay. Got it. And uh, what is the next round? So after some time, I had gone for the HR round. Now the HR is somewhat generic only. She understood that this is my first interview and she, uh, she cooled me for some time by offering some water. After that, she asked me regarding my intro and the projects that I had worked recently. And I explained the same machine learning product that I had done. Now this this one, after this one, just some general HR questions like, why Darwin Box, why not any other company? If you got offer same as Darwin Box to any other company as well, some X company, would you prefer X company or our company? Okay. If no, if no, or if yes, just for your reason. Okay. And do you have any plans for your higher studies? Okay. And I need to specify the reason also, proper reason why why I want to pursue or why I will I do not want to pursue. So uh, that is all the number of rounds, right? So yeah, there are all the total number. four rounds, and two coding rounds, and two in-person interview rounds, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah, and uh, what is the pay scale that they are offering? What so the CTC that, I mean, I am certainly as a product development intern, 
in this intern phase they offer me 25000 per month as a stipend but after this when i get into full time a ctc of 16.3 lakh is offered in which 8 is a total fixed salary and remaining are incentives okay so 8 lakh is yeah 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 you can i want to mention one thing so guys don't completely realize that the three rounds will be in the same format only because after our college our company i mean the raving box visit to visited to other colleges that i know in that the round pattern changed i mean to say that okay. but in that colleges first round is held same as ours but for the second round instead of a coding round or any exam they conduct a directly an interview so upon that interview they shortlisted some people for the next round so okay. for the next in the next round online links are given to them i mean and online live coding round is happened to them so in that live coding round only the essay question sql question and all the part related questions are happened again so okay. i can honestly tell you that please don't rely on the format completely it may change but your efforts will should remain constant in all the time okay, okay. that is good uh, so yeah it was uh, an internship uh, based opportunity right so uh, like uh, what is the procedure uh, so is it a fixed full time offer or is it a performance dependent opportunity so it is completely a performance dependent opportunity only i mean in the offer letter only they mentioned that thing okay completely rely on the performance only so you need to do 6 month internship uh, with 25k stipend and then uh, if your performance is good then it will be converted to full time right yeah yes yes okay okay got it and yeah are there any suggestions from your side with them you know for someone who is preparing for uh, davin box for the next year okay so this video can be watched by either the third year guys or the second year guys or complete the first year guys three kind of people can watch this video at any moment so for the third year guys i honestly suggest you that for you bs is equal and equally important to development as well so please try to focus on both of them parallelly don't completely rely on development or don't completely rely on dsa also because both are equally important for you guys just try to spend some time on dsa and remaining time on development it depends on you it depends on your timetable and for the second year guys who are watching this video it's your prime time start code start to coding you may feel that the coding sums are difficult you may feel that for well, this dsc somewhat uh, very clumsy to understand but everyone faces a difficulty in the start even me even udai even all other guys has faced difficulty so don't fear for the problems just try it and for the first year guys who are watching this i do say the same suggestion for the second as i said to second year guys only try to start doing coding as soon as possible so that you can gain proficiency and the main thing i want to say is darwin box mainly focuses on somewhat tough and kind of patterns like db graphs in trees also some hard patterns so you need to focus on this this these topics more than with all other concepts i guess okay. this much yeah 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 so yeah, yeah even uh, you know if vetan is selected uh, to the starvin box uh, you know they basically uh, go through all your projects that you have mentioned in your resume if you take vetan's resume you know he, he has some uh, you know lot of big machine learning projects in his resume so yeah the development part is uh, very important when you are uh, trying to apply uh, companies like davin box because uh, these are like startups so yeah and dsa is very very important you know and sometimes dsa is only you know you know uh, to crack the whole company process uh, this this point you know i have even mentioned in the previous interview also so that is the main thing you know uh, yeah anything from your side by then uh, still if you want to tell anything so my is honest session to some people i mean not to the all but some guys who i have watched that in the interview that some people are just simply taking the projects from the github and putting them into the resume but they do not have clarity on that some people are even rejected for the for doing that thing so for the people who are at the prime in the peak time like the earlier guys or the fourth year guys who are watching this video so don't simply copy paste the projects from resume from github if you do copy paste also just maintain some clarity on what the works done what are the functions that they have implemented all this i know even if it's a prime, it's a prime time you do not may have that much time to focus on the projects but yeah in the interview there is a chance that you may get caught off that you have taken projects from the github as well so please don't do such kind of things yeah uh, so, uh, even it's fine even it's not a crime even if you mention uh, you know take the projects and mention it your resume but you know uh, be as good as like you know you could explain the whole project so i would say you know uh, build it or just go through all the code and understand each and every pro, uh, you know a part of the code so just try to uh, you know make it uh, so fake it until you make it so this is the line that i want to say so yeah uh, that is all from this uh, davin box interview experience so you know uh, below i'll mention uh, 
Vedan's uh, LinkedIn ID, you know, if there are still any doubts, you know, uh, you can reach out to him. So thank you, Vedan, uh, for having with us. Okay. All the best, guys, for your future. And bye-bye.